This is Gene Key, KDD News. The first of several people allegedly connected to the Borger money and drug scandal pleaded guilty in court Monday. According to NewsChannel10.com, Amy Fernandez pleaded guilty to one count of structuring a financial transaction with unreported income. She faces up to five years behind bars. That could be pumped up to 10 years if it's discovered those transactions are more than $100,000. Fernandez is still out on bail. She'll be allowed to stay at home until her sentencing. Her husband, Frank Fernandez, his two brothers, Aaron and Jose Fernandez, along with his friend, Thomas Salazar, are all scheduled to be in court today to make their own pleas. ConnectAmarillo.com reports from Carson County. More than $1 million in marijuana was seized during two weekend drug busts in Carson County. The first happened just before one Saturday morning. Texas Department of Public Safety said it found 20 pounds of high-grade marijuana valued at $108,000. The marijuana was found after a car was pulled over four miles west of Conway on Interstate 40. Drugs were found inside of luggage in the trunk of the vehicle. DPS said it attempted to pull over a car about seven miles east of Conway on Interstate 40 for speeding. That's when troopers said a car was following closely behind the first vehicle when it blocked their attempts to pass the vehicle. A second trooper was called in to assist and DPS said the second vehicle swerved in an attempt to strike the first DPS unit. After the near collision, both vehicles were pulled over. The first vehicle, according to DPS, contained 155 pounds of high-grade marijuana found in the vehicle's trunk. It was valued around $830,000. Some very good news for local students attending 4-H classes. The Texas State Board of Education passed an amendment allowing public school students to be considered in attendance when participating in off-campus activities with an outside staff member of the school district. At the last school board meeting, the board approved this amendment. What this means for students is that the FFA instructor and the county extension agent will be allowed to work with students who are enrolled in either program, and students will not be counted absent when attending 4-H events. This is Gene Key, KDD News.